Welcome back. This is Yamma Jack. We're playing on Black Forest Suicidal. This is episode 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 83. I have thought up a topic to talk about today. I, mean, I don't I don't know this map. I let it pick a random map. This is what it gave us and I don't I don't really know this map. It's a lot of foliage, a lot of stuff I don't like. Um so talking about a topic might be a little bit tricky in this one because of that, you know. But we'll uh, we'll do our best. See what we can do. So I, I did think of a topic. I want to start um, vlogging. I've wanted to start vlogging for a long time. I bought a webcam like forever ago. Uh, I bought some like PVC pipes, um, some lights, and all that, like so I could set up lighting. Um, in my room and then start to record with like relatively decent ish quality um, And I just I never I never got it set up um, Mostly because I'd have to like kind of rearrange my room a little bit Get it like cleaned and organized put stuff up on the walls, you know all that kind of stuff make the videos look interesting Maybe paint the walls um, it's, It was just a lot of work um, that I wasn't prepared for when I when I actually bought all the stuff for it, so I'm uh, I, I do want to do it though, and with with the with the killing floor two thing, it's kind of taught me to be more okay with not perfect um, quality stuff. Like before before killing floor two. Uh, for this series, anyway, whenever I made like a video or something like that, like I put in an unbelievable amount of time into it to, to make it exactly the way that I wanted it, exactly to my vision, perfectly the way that uh, that I had planned, right? And with this, I upload a lot of videos that I, I consider bad. Like honestly, the, the majority of the videos that I upload, I wouldn't have before. You know, I would have. I'm at. We're, we're getting close to 100 episodes now, and I would say, you know, on my on my old, you know, uh, strategy of looking at this, we'd be maybe episode 20, 25. Right? That that's the, oops. That's the amount of time difference that I'm talking about when. Um, maybe even less than that, honestly. That's that's the time difference. Maybe maybe like honestly, if I'm being completely sincere, it'd, it'd probably be like episode ten. And uh, that's that's taught me a lot. Being able to be happy with not inadequacy, but just not striving for like striving for excellence, but being satisfied when I get okay, you know. Um, that, that's honestly been a, a change that's affected me in a lot of ways. And I feel like for the vlog, it's maybe possible for me to do it now just because I don't have that same push for, you know, I don't need to have perfect lighting. I don't need to have my walls painted. I don't need to have all of this stuff um, done up before I can even start vlogging. Like, I can just vlog and it'll be bad, but... Oof, I'm sorry, bud. Uh, I can just vlog, and even if the videos aren't the best videos that I could have produced, given you know an unlimited budget of money and time, they'll still be better than not putting anything up, right? And um, that's something that the, the Killing Floor 2 series has, has taught me very, very clearly, and uh, I am I am very, very happy for for that because it's, it's something that I never thought. I'd be able to be content with just mediocrity. You know, I want to be better. I am putting in the time to, to make these videos better, but you know, I'm starting out, I'm not the best YouTuber there is. I don't have to try to be the best YouTuber there is. And um, so I'm thinking I might get into vlogging. I wanted to vlog because um, a few years ago, when I first started my um, when I first started my transition, I wanted to like vlog the whole process because uh, I thought that it would help me a motivate myself to actually like complete things. If I was able to motivate myself to vlog, then I'd be able to motivate myself to like do 
the things that I need to do for the transition. Like I'd be able to motivate myself to do my voice work and you know weight loss and all of all of this kind of stuff, right? I mean weight loss isn't really totally a part of the transition necessarily, but I kinda lump it all in together. Who is this mysterious monster? Um And uh, I wanted to vlog the whole process because, in my opinion, I have started out at a, a pretty masculine, like, starting point. And I wanted to be not necessarily inspiration immediately, but, you know, two or three years down the line, after I started vlogging, I'd, I'd be at a point where people would look back on my older videos and be like, wow, she's made a lot of progress. Like, that's impressive, you know? And then I never actually started vlogging. Um, so you might see some vlogs coming up soon-ish. Like, I say soon, but I'm talking like in the next month or two kind of thing, if we get it. Just because I do have a lot of stuff that I have to get worked out before we can... I know I'm talking about how I, I don't have to work things out and I can just start up a bad, but like I do have to get some things worked out before I can start um, recording any kind of vlogs. Like, I have to get my webcam set up. I have to get the lights set up. Like, I have them. I may as well do it. Um, I don't have to get my walls painted or shelves put up or anything like that for like background stuff, but like I need to have a base level of, you know, like I'm recording on KF2 and I'm, I'm accepting mediocrity. I still have, you know, a decent microphone on a boom with a pop filter. I'm recording, you know, 60 FPS. You know, the, the production value is, is still fine, right? It's just not, get out of here. It's just not the best that it could be if uh, if I were better at it. That's okay, you know? Um, so I wanna do, like, get to the, the vlog to a similar point. Like, people who watch my channel are gonna expect a certain level of quality from it. And if I were to start recording a vlog right now, it wouldn't be to that level of quality. Uh, also, since I've, um, Since I got that webcam, I actually have upgraded my phone to a Samsung S20 Ultra. So I'm pretty sure the camera on that is quite a lot better than my webcam. So I'd have to find out some way of recording that, but I'd probably want to use... I'm not sure what microphone I'd want to use. I might end up just having to record it completely on the, um, on the, the phone. I'm not sure. But like those are the things that I have to worry about, right? I have to figure out how that's all going to work. Oh no. Where are you? I have to figure out how that's all going to work before I start recording um, any vlogs because I can't record vlogs if I don't know how I'm doing it. Um, but you might see some vlogs. I want to talk about, you know, voice work and all, all that kind of nonsense, right? Hopefully be motivation for somebody else who's uh, who's going through a similar thing and also to explain what it's like for me to be trans because I don't know I like, I like talking about things about me you know a lot of people don't like talking about it not not oop, I, I hit a button okay, we got a oop no Nope. Uh, we want to be on this one. Yeah, I believe this is the one. Yeah, this feels right. I accidentally hit my uh, DPI button. And I can't see my my mouse, so I can't um, actually look at the colors to see if I'm on the right DPI. Anyway, I like talking about, uh, you know, the different things that affects me, like autism, being trans, um, my family life, my home life, all that. Like, I like talking about that with people, uh, but people don't generally like talking about it with me. I guess they feel like it's a sensitive subject, so they don't want to, you know, ask questions and, and seem like they're pushing too much or being too intrusive or annoying or whatever. But to me, it's, it's not really annoying. Like, I like talking about these problems and, um, Nobody ends up asking me questions about it. I always say, you know, like, 
hey, so I have this. If you have any questions about it, like, please do ask. Nobody ends up taking me up on that offer. I don't know why. It's like, uh, just a human thing, I think. Where you don't want to ask people about things that would be viewed as negative, right? Like, nobody views being trans as a good thing, right? Like, it would be better if nobody was trans, right? Like, I know that sounds cruel, but, like, it would be better if just nobody had that dysphoria in the first place and nobody felt like like they weren't fitting into the, to their gender because it's not a it's not a fun thing to go through, right? So when you're talking about it, like that's a negative thing about their personality, right? Not their personality, but about them. Like being trans is, is considered it's not a bad thing to be trans, but it's considered negative in the sense that uh, it's something that affects you negatively, right? And people don't like talking about that, I guess, for the most part. Um, even if you say that you're okay with talking about it, people just generally don't like to actually talk about it for, for whatever reason. Which is um, a little bit frustrating because I like talking about it. I, to me, like if somebody has a question about something, like you know, they don't they don't know what what's being trans. What, what is what is it like to be trans, right? Like, if people don't know that, I'd rather them ask me than to just assume or or something like that, you know? It's just, it's a much better option to just ask me what it's like or to ask me, you know, how it affects me or, like, what I can do to, to fix it. Like, I'd rather you just ask if you don't know something and then me tell you and explain it to you so you can learn and understand better. Like, that's, that's just so much better. But... I feel like people just, generally speaking, they don't care, or there's this, like, urge to not talk about somebody's, like, negative traits, or, or things that would view them negatively. Like, you don't want to talk about, like, you're not going to hear people ask, like, their black friend what being black is like, right? Because you're like, well, that's probably rude to bring that up, you know? But... At the same time, like, I feel like wanting to be more educated is, is a good thing. And, uh, I wish more people would do that, but generally speaking, they just, they don't. That's okay. Yeah, everybody has their own quirks, and everybody likes doing things their way, and if people don't feel comfortable asking it, then, you know, it's fine. I just, uh, wish people would, and that's why I wanted to blog, because I like talking about that stuff, and, uh... Nobody asks me the questions that I want to be asked. But that's dumb questions, you know? Like, they'll ask what's in my pants, and I'm like... Unless, unless you're going to be touching it, you don't, you don't need to know. <laughs> it's not... It's the least important thing. You know? But nobody asks the, the questions that I'd actually like to answer. And uh, so I wanted to make a vlog so I could just pretend I was asked them. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.